A popular hot dog stand turned into a crime scene overnight. The shootout left a man dead and another fighting for his life. got the story about two groups getting into a little confrontation up at the uh gym top dog Jewtown Polish spot in Chicago you know they got hot they got uh Polishes for like three or four dollars so it used to be a dollar or two but they like three or four dollars now and it, one guy ended up getting shot in the face and died at the scene you know, it's surveillance cameras everywhere out there, you know. You know, this is the same kind of hot dog stand where that, that boy had shot that man who was putting his hands on his mama up at the, uh, on Halsted, on I think I was 127th in Halsted, somewhere around there. So y'all, I'm finna play the uh, news clipping, you know what I'm saying, so. Y'all, make sure y'all stay tuned and be safe, man. Them hot dog stands going to get them little three or four dollar hot dogs. You want two or three dollar hot dogs, man. Polishes, man. Them Chicago style polishes is dangerous out there, man. Everybody be going there getting them hot dogs and polishes. You will get into it. Look, look at the scene, man. You can end up getting into it trying to get you a polish or a hot dog, man. They got hamburgers and fish sandwiches. Now they think that she has something to do with it. That's lady store can't help but that these bums coming up there to her store shooting and stuff. It's like the two wrong people could bump heads, man. And it's just all bad, man. But that's the original. I think that's one of the original spots right there. That's Jewtown, I think. That's the original spot. This the original hot dog spot, man. So y'all stay focused, man, and make sure y'all look out for that Squid Field mixtape. I'm finna play the news clipping for y'all. WGN's Julian Cruz is live on the scene in Little Italy with more. Julian. Well, Mike and Ray, the trouble starting on South Union Avenue, an unidentified number of individuals getting out of two separate cars about 10.30 last night. Witnesses describing how one man broke a bottle over the head of another and the bullets started flying. They were walking from the south side in our direction, got into an altercation, and this is what the outcome is. Patched up bullet holes with Chicago police evidence markers peppering the side of Jim's original on the 1200 block of South Union Avenue. There's no respect, I think. Like, people don't respect each other anymore. The terrifying gun battle, despite the visible presence of private security guards at Jim's and surveillance cameras everywhere. The occupants of a dark colored SUV and red sedan opening fire on each other, police say about 10.30 last night, a male victim shot in the face, investigators say, later pronounced dead at an area hospital. The 19-year-old male victim with a gunshot wound to the chest at last report in critical condition at Stroger Hospital. This is the worst. Betty Domatola says the shooters have no connection whatsoever to Jim's original. We're still okay, nothing's really happening. It's just all around us. Multiple parked vehicles hit by stray bullets causing significant damage, but fortunately no bystanders injured despite the proximity to the UIC campus. No word yet from Chicago police on any possible suspects. In Little Italy, Julian Cruz, WGN News.